guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abongile Nguya. I am a computer science and a business computing student studying at UCT and I'm doing my second year. Today's video, as promised, I'll be giving you guys a brief introduction to C Sharp, what it is, when do we use it, and why do we use it. Just a brief introduction, it's not something hectic like I'll be showing you guys um, code, it's just theory part of C Sharp. If you like a sound of that, make sure you watch until the end. If you like this video, you comment, you subscribe, be sure it's your friends. Otherwise, let's get into it. Let's start with the main question. What is C Sharp? Well, C Sharp is an object-oriented programming language that was created by Microsoft and runs on the .NET framework. I'm sure I do not say much in that definition because there are words that you probably don't understand. For example, object-oriented. Right, so let me explain, let me try to explain object oriented like I'm explaining to a five year old. <laughs> so, object oriented is a combination of two words object and orientated. Well, object means that it's an entity that exists in the real world, while, ob while orientated means that it is focused on that object. Right, so object oriented um, programming language are languages that are basically object focused i don't know there's the there's the only definition that i can come up with right they work with objects and classes for example we have a structure of oop language of all oop languages they start with the class then the object okay a class is a blueprint of an object right and an object is an instance of a class that exists in the real world then we have methods and then we have attributes let me give you guys like an, an example we have a car a car has wheels a car has steering wheels <laughs> a steering wheel a car is an engine right but when we want to make an instance of that blueprint of a car we're going to make an object right called a ferrari where we're going to say it has this type of engine there's this type of I don't know gear has this type of I don't know why I actually made a car example because I'm not really fluent with cars but I think this is because this was a type of um, example that we were given also in, in, in school but we can make an example also about a person we have a person just a generic person a person has a name a surname an ID number if they do even if they don't they have an ID number um, but then we have a, a person you can have a boy or a girl right now that's where we differentiate you have brace you have this you have that and then we also and then we have methods right what can a girl what can a boy do those are the things so methods are functions that are carried out by the object then attributes what differentiates or what makes this a girl what makes this a boy I'm not sure if you guys get the analogy it's all over the place but um, that's the best I can do to explain to try to explain what um oop is to a five year old right but i'm not gonna go through um i'm not gonna basically go to an extent of explaining the four principles of um object oriented programming language i'm just gonna name them we have polymorphism we have inheritance we have encapsulation and extraction i'm sure they're gonna explain this to you guys thorough full detail once you get to that part of computer science but for now just stick to this explanation i'm sure it will do it'll do <laughs> the next question would be when do we actually use c sharp you know when do we actually use c sharp to create we can use it to create web applications desktop applications mobile applications your games and data applications like a whole lot that you can use to create um when you can use to create using C sharp the main reason why a person would actually use C sharp is because it has a huge support system in the internet on the internet rather um, there are so many youtubers that have coded with C sharp if you are stuck trust me you're gonna just google the answer or go to YouTube they already have done you know any something like that in the past you know there's a huge support system when it comes to c -sharp. i think that's why most people use c -sharp in this and it's one of the most popular languages in the front end development you know so i think probably that's one of the reasons why people use c -sharp to create um, applications well i did say i'm going to show you just a little bit you know of um code 
that I not code, not code like I'm gonna code. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna show you guys just a brief introduction to um, C Sharp. I'm gonna show you the UI and you know how, what to expect. What do I mean that it's object oriented to the programming language? So let's hop on to Visual Studio Code so that I can show you. Okay, so one of the IDEs that we use to um, code using C Sharp is Visual Studio. Um, because it supports the .NET framework um, that I talked about that it remember C Sharp runs on the .NET framework so if you have maybe created some recent projects you can open them on the left but because we are creating a new one you have to select create a new project like I said that it runs on a .NET framework it uses the window forms .NET framework you click it and then you say next after doing that follow the instructions and you create your file mine is going to be written youtube demo it's the one that we're going to use um to, to so that uh, is the one that i'm going to use to show you guys just c sharp so a lot of things that i'm going to show you is just you know yeah it's just something <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that it displays is the Windows form, right? As as usual, this is the UI of the Visual Studio. It's the the visual um it's the form that it shows, and then you have to select the toolbox. I'm just going to show you guys um a simple sign in form that we're going to create, right? Um, it's not going to be functional because I'm not going to show you the functionalities of it. But I'm just trying to show you guys, um, you know, what we get up to. Um, so you drag, these are text boxes. So you search the toolbox if it's not on your left, or right? I'm not sure. Um, then you search it under search, search the toolbox. Because I've used um, the Visual Studio so much, it's already on the, um, on my left so you can just um search it on the search box so i've um i have selected you drag the things right you drag the things to the form so i've selected the text boxes and now i'm selecting the label which is used to label the text boxes or you can use it for the title right so i'm just copying for every text box So if you want to change the name of like your labels, you or oh, the text written on the labels, you go to properties, right? It's you basically, okay. So what you do is you right click on the label and then you go and find something written properties. Because like I've said, I've used Visual Studio so much and I've already pinned the properties um, option. You can do that by right clicking on the label that you want to change and then there is an option called properties then you go to text and then you change where it's written label and then you write the label that you want in this case because it's a sign in form our title is going to be written sign in and then we're going to write name surname the password then you're also going to change the text written on the button um to sign in okay i made a mistake here. i'm going to talk about this later and then just drag in to make it look pretty even though we're not making it functional just showing you another way you can just drag it to make it changing the name of the text rather written on the button to sign in or next or whatever you want to put 
one of the most another important practices that you can do is to change the text box to the, the label of or the value that is found in the text box so if it's a text box that where you write your name you're going to write name text box if it's a text box that you write your surname it's just a good practice to write surname the surname text box and then so that you can know which text box you're talking about and it's very useful once maybe you're doing um sql or other stuff so that you can know which values you're taking things from you don't have to label labels you know, you don't have to name labels rather because I'm not sure if you're ever going to use them like for SQL, but I don't. Or we have not labeled any names. We just label the text boxes, the ones that have values. Even the buttons, you label them because they have on-click events. Some of them have values. Textbooks have values and buttons have on-click events and you would want to know what button is this that I'm clicking. Okay, so this is the you this is um some so you double click on the thingy, you double click on the on what you want to write code and then here so it, it's written public void something and that's when you double click and that's where you write your code of that on click event so you want when you click the button this is what i want my button to do but we're going to talk about it more if you guys would like to do that but for now i was just showing you guys the simple stuff of um of c sharp just so you get introduction i'm not sure if it's going to be helpful but i'm just showing you the simple ui of c -Sharp.